Hey hey welcome back to the rev line. Today we're taking a close, no nonsense look at one of Britain's most effective precision strike tools, the Brimstone missile. We'll cover what it is, how it works, why so many nations are buying it around 2024 a 2025 and how its design lets pilots and unmanned systems pick single vehicles out of a crowded battlefield with very low collateral damage. Start with the basics, Brimstone is a lightweight, air-to-surface, precision anti-armor missile developed in the UK and manufactured by MBDA. It's compact a roughly 1.8 meters long and about 180 millimeters in diameter a and built around a tandem warhead specifically designed to defeat modern tanks with reactive armor. The missile's guidance has evolved, the original seeker used a millimeter wave radar to find targets, while later dual mode versions add laser guidance for even more flexibility against a wider range of threats. That mix of sensors is why pilots or remote operators can choose to strike moving armored vehicles in cluttered environments while avoiding nearby civilians or infrastructure. Mechanically it's neat and brutal, a solid rocket motor gives the missile supersonic dash speeds, and the tandem warhead has a small precursor charge to defeat reactive plates followed by the main shape charge to punch through base armor. The warhead is compact but effective a design to maximize kill probability on modern armored threats while keeping the overall weapon light enough to fit many platforms. That small but lethal design philosophy is part of what made Brimstone attractive as a replacement for older, less discriminating weapons. One of Brimstone's real game-changing strengths is its precision and low collateral capability. In past operations a Libya and Afghanistan among the May Brimstone showed very high accuracy and a low incidence of collateral damage compared to older cluster and unguided munitions the UK mod has repeatedly cited very high mission success rates in live operations. That track record is a big reason Brimstone moved from a tornado only weapon to a multi-platform system, you'll find it on fast jets, attack helicopters, UFs and even in surface launched or naval variants designed to give ground units or ships precision strike options. Over the past few years there have been clear upgrades. Brimstone 2 increased range, improved the seeker and made the overall weapon more modular and compliant, and sensitive munition standards. More recently Brimstone 3 appears as the evolution intended for higher integration with contemporary fighters like the Eurofighter, and Germany signed contracts in 2024 to buy Brimstone 3 for its Eurofighters a sign that the missile's relevance isn't just historical, it's expanding across NATO air forces. That continued procurement A and new surface launched and naval adaptations unveiled around 2024 A 2025 A show how MBDA is pushing Brimstone as a one missile, multi platform solution for modern combined arms. Tactically, Brimstone's fast engagement cycle and ability to discriminate moving targets in clutter make it ideal for the kinds of conflicts we see today fluid front lines, mixed civilian, military spaces, and a high demand for precision to avoid escalation. For example, mounting brimstone on an ISR-equipped drone or on a helicopter gives commanders the option to prosecute fleeting armored targets without calling in heavy firepower that might cause excessive damage. The missile's seeker logic and fire and forget capability, in certain modes, mean less time over the target area for the launch aircraft, increasing survivability for pilots and platforms. People often ask, how does Brimstone compare to alternatives like Hellfire or newer cruise missiles? Think of Brimstone as a specialized scalpel for anti-armor and small footprint precision strikes say faster, shorter range, and more maneuverable than larger standoff cruise missiles and often more flexible than single-mode systems because of its multi-sensor seeker options. Hellfire is mature and widespread, but Brimstone's combination of millimeter wave and laser targeting, and its modular upgrades, 
give it unique advantages in high clutter, contested environments. For missions requiring longer reach or different lethality profiles, systems like spear or standoff cruise missiles come into play a but brimstone fills a very specific and very useful niche. Looking ahead, by 2025 brimstone isn't static. MBDA has been working to integrate the missile across more platforms a manned and unmanned, air, land and sea and to evolve the launchers and canisterized solutions for ground forces and naval units. You'll also see variants tailored for anti-ship and surface launch trolls combining a precision seeker with a compact warhead makes brimstone attractive against small, fast craft in littoral zones as well as against armored formations inland. Procurement by multiple European nations is a strong indicator that the missile will be a staple in Allied inventories over the next decade. If you're making a video or briefing about Brimstone, focus on these points. The modular seeker and guidance, the tandem warhead optimized for reactive armor, the platform agnostic integration, and the operational record that proves its collateral effectiveness. Also mention the geostrategic bit a why countries are buying it now, it's affordable, effective, and adaptable, which is a compelling combo when defense budgets are squeezed but threats remain diverse and high tech. That's the quick tour. If you like this breakdown, stick around on the Revline a we'll drop a visual breakdown next, aerodynamic cuter ways, seeker modes explained with animations and a comparison table showing Brimstone against its closest competitors. Want that? Tell me which platform you want the deep dive on a tornado, typhoon, Eurofighter, helicopter, or drone a and I'll script the follow up. Thanks for watching the Revline. If this helped, hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell a and if you've got a question about the missile's sensors, a deployment case, or want the script adapted for a 60 second social short, drop it in the comments and I'll write that next.